Hey everybody, Julie D here. I have a quick update from the International Practical Shooting Confederation World Shoot. Now this is a spectacular event. It happens only once every three years and it is quite the big deal. We have people from over 80 countries, thousands of shooters that have come across to either watch or participate in the match. Both there's a pre-match the week before and the main match this week. And uh, it's, it's pretty difficult to get a slot. I know a lot of Americans who wanted to shoot this match that couldn't get in because there's just not enough slots available. It's a really neat event, but it's not like a lot of practical shooting events, USPSA, if you will, that you shoot in the United States. And one of the main differences is that you actually have to check in and register your equipment at the beginning of the event. Now, I did this yesterday, and basically, you bring all of your guns and gear to registration. Now, our registration process and verification that our equipment is legal happens at the chronograph for the most part in US matches. But in IPSA, you're actually given a card, an ID that allows you on the range, and they also verify your equipment, everything from your gun with a serial number to make sure that it's legal for the division that you're shooting in, as well as your rig to make sure that you're always using the same equipment in the same spot. You can't change up magnets or magazine pouches and move your holster around. They actually verify your equipment on every stage, as well as any aftermarket base pads that you might be using for your magazines. So you do all of this, you get checked in, they verify everything, and then later in the match, you will actually go through and have that verified on every single stage. Now, the other big difference that we find, especially for me in the production division, is they actually weigh your trigger. We don't really have that situation here in the US, so your gun has to meet a minimum of five pounds for the first shot in the production division. So I'm shooting a Smith & Wesson m &P here, and as you can see from the video, <laughs> I am having my trigger weight checked by a wonderful man from the Netherlands, one of the range officers recommended. <laughs> with flying colors, as you can see. <laughs> so it's really important that your equipment is legal because there are on-the-spot checks, especially for those in contention of winning. And then, uh, yeah, you head to the range to check out the stages. Now, the other interesting thing about IPSC is you're actually not allowed to scope out the stages, as in walk the stages, before the match. Now, this is something that's completely different for us U.S. shooters because we're always heading to the range earlier the evening the night before, checking and walking the stages and getting an idea of our plan. That's not the case in IPSC. You can look at the stages from a distance, but you can't actually walk them. And that's a significant challenge because you only have a three-minute time frame after the walkthrough to settle your plan down. Now, when you're competing with uh, you know, 12 to 16 other shooters on a squad, and they all haven't seen the stage either, that can make for <laughs> some interesting walkthroughs, to say the least. But usually everybody gets a pattern down and uh, things get sorted out. So uh, it's, it's kind of uh, a combination, if you will, almost of like what you would find in IDPA, where you, you can't walk through the stages too much, you can't really get an idea, and USPSA. And that three minute time limit, limit is, uh, Pretty tough. So what's going on next? Well, after everybody registers, and some people can check out the stages, the range is actually closed all day on Sunday, so only open for vendors and a few workers if they want to. And that's because everybody wants to enjoy the opening ceremonies. And Lakeland, Florida is putting on quite the show. And uh, so if you're in the Florida area, you'll definitely want to check it out. There's a parade of nations where everyone will get to walk in the parade. And there's also fireworks. <laughs> so it'll be a great time. Uh, it happens, I believe, around five o'clock tonight. Uh, there's link information on my Facebook page as well as the IPSC World Shoot page and the IPSC official page. So if you want to check out everything that's going on there and follow, that would be awesome. I hope to get some good video and some photos that I'll post to Instagram and to Facebook and Twitter when I can. Um, but I'm going to have a great time. I'm super excited to be representing the U.S. with my teammates Sarah Donovan, Maggie Reese, and Cindy Thomas, as well as all of the other super talented shooters out there. And it's such a great time because you get to meet everybody, uh, you get to walk, you get to represent the U.S. I even uh, painted my nails for the occasion, 
and it'll be a great time. Then I start the match on Monday. I start on Monday afternoon, so I'll have a little time to scope out those stages, especially those first ones that I need to check out. So hopefully I won't be uh, facing any tough challenges with those three minute walkthroughs. So there you have it. That's pretty much everything uh, that I can think of that's kind of behind the scenes happening right before the world shoot. I hope to post a video of uh, some of the festivities tonight and uh, please stay tuned for more.